hello again so it has been a long time since I filmed a video I mean like two weeks but seriously I did I meant to not fall off the wagon for that long at all but I have like a kind of legitimate excuse not not really but a little bit I could not finish a book to save my life and all I wanted to do was film a review video but I was reading like 12 books at the same time and I kept just switching in between them and so surprise I never finished one uh, but I have finally finished a few of them and I figured instead of doing a review because I don't actually have that much to say about any of them I would just do a wrap-up video for this month because that's a thing that people do on the internet and I love those videos I didn't know they existed. So this is my stack of physical books. Uh, I also listened to the Air of Fire audiobook which was good and I read The Queen of the Tearling and then immediately needed to buy The Invasion of the Tearling and they were great and I'm very annoyed that I didn't know that it was a trilogy and that the third one's not out yet and that the second one literally came out this month. I don't know how I didn't know that, but I didn't and now all I want is the third one and it doesn't exist yet. Anyways, so the first book I read this month is actually this one, The Cellar by Natasha Preston. It was really good. It wasn't like my favorite, but I liked it. It kind of just felt like a really long, drawn-out episode of Criminal Minds, uh, which I feel like I might have gotten more out of just watching an episode, but it was it was good, and I like reading like not-known books and not-known authors. I thought I'd just give it a shot, and I tried to read the sequel. It's just on Wattpad, and it was so, so bad, and the characters were so stupid, and I was just like, what are you even doing? No one is that idiotic, so I just couldn't do it. I can't stand stupid characters. I can't watch them. No. The next one that I read was The Diviners. And my problem with Libba Bray in general is that she writes so well and she's beautifully descriptive and she writes magic in like a really cool, fun way. But there's just, there's, there's so much. There's so much. This book took me so long to read. And it was good, but there were a lot of times I find myself, found myself getting bored. And if you don't know what it's about, it's about like a murder mystery thing in the 30s, the 20s, something like that. And that those are not things that should bore me, but sometimes I found myself really getting bored just because there was a lot of switching between perspectives. There were several different characters whose point of view you saw it from. And I don't do well with those books because normally I care about like one or two and then the rest of the characters I'm just like, yes, I get it. You have a storyline. Just go back to the other one. So it was good. I'm going to read the second one because I really want to know how it all turns out. But yeah, with Libba Bray, sometimes like 850 pages is just too much. It's just too much. The next book I read was The Infinite Sea, which is the sequel to The Fifth Wave. Um, the Fifth Wave is legitimately one of my favorite books ever. It was so intense and like I found myself getting panicky because for a while there I felt like I was the only person left on Earth. And it's just, it's so great at like putting you in the mindset of the characters. It was an amazing book. This one, still amazing, still really well written, but my problem with it is that it kind of switched between like the two main characters from the first book to a couple of secondary characters and focused on them more, but I just don't care about Ringer and Zombie as much as I care about Cassie and Evan, so the entire time I was like, okay, whatever, whatever Ringer, I, I care. I care, you're great, but I just, I want my love story back, I want my Cassie and my Evan, and I want him to kill all the aliens and get it over with. It also felt like a very much a middle book, like nothing really seemed to happen, uh, but again, still really well written. Also, just like, I don't know if you can see this, but I, um, I like dog-eared all the parts where really just fucked up things happen. Uh, the, f the, the, like, introduction is one of the most screwed up things I've ever read. And it just, it just got worse from there. So that's something. This guy writes really messed up things really well. It was a good book. You should definitely read the series. I can't wait till the next one comes out. It's gonna be amazing. The other books I read aren't physical copies. I don't have something to hold up in front of my face. But, uh, The Queen of the Tearling and The Invasion of the Tearling were amazing. They were so good. The Queen of the Tearling took me a little while to get into, but it was one of those things where just suddenly I was really attached to the storyline and finished the book in like a day. And it was just, it was so good and I just need to know what happens next. The second book felt, for the most part, it kind of felt a little bit like 
in Lord of the Rings where like Frodo was wearing the ring too much. Like that was happening to the main character and I was just like, ugh, stop being so angsty and evil. You're such a good person. Just stop going crazy. But I think it'll turn out okay in the end. Uh, I really like the end of the book. Uh, I am so, I'm so excited for the third one and I want to read it right now, but I can't. I've said that like seven times, but I just finished it yesterday and I'm dying. <laughs> the other book I read, uh, or I listened to, an audiobook, Air of Fire, which is the third in the Throne of Glass series. It was really good. I kind of, I have this problem when I read like trilogies. I tend to read them really soon, one after the other, and then I kind of forget what happens in what book. So I'm not really going to say very much about it just because I don't know, I don't know what happened in the second book, what happened in the third book. I also, it took me like a month and a half to listen to because it was just such a long audiobook. It was like 22 hours or something like that. So I don't have the clearest like review of it right now. I just finished it though. I really liked the end. I'm really excited for all the characters to kind of regroup and start working together again. And I, I just can't wait for the next one. <laughs> I'm saying that a lot in this video, aren't I? The last book that I read this month, I actually just started today at work. I'm a nanny, the kid was napping, I wasn't just like slacking off. Uh, and I read this far in it, so I'm probably gonna finish it today, probably, but yeah, I don't have a, re a review for it right now. Uh, it's pretty good so far. It kind of is just an episode of Supernatural, but with only one brother. Just pick it up, try it, I don't know. Anyways, that's my wrap up for this month. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you sooner, sooner than this, this break has been. Promise, maybe. It'll be soon. Bye!